Hey, what up, guys? Llama here for another video of War Thunder. Now, as you guys might be asking, I do videos on different things every day. And this video is, well, judging by the title, this is going to be about um, the F4U1D Corsair, which in the tech tree is... The first Corsair, oh no, sorry, second Corsair you can unlock in the game. It's at a battle rating of 3.7 in air realistic battles. <clears throat> now, I can fly this thing in simulator, and I have done it really well, but for the sake of the audience today, I will be doing it in air realistic. And the reason I wanted to try to fly a plane like the Corsair is it relies heavily on turn fighting. No, it relies heavily on energy fighting. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to me. Um, anyway, I'm kind of kind of go over um, some tactics that I see a lot of people I play against play on my team. I've seen people do bad things, I've seen people do good things, and I'm here to talk about them and do a video on the Corsair. Here we go, we're in the battle. Let's take out, um, you see, um, the colors on these things represent different things, so green represents, um, don't quote me on that, but HE. Yeah, green represents HE. Red is armor piercing. Blue. Blue is incendiary. And green is high explosive, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll take out universal because I don't know what targets we're really going to be engaging. It's always nice to have an air spawn with this thing. Okay, so what you first want to do when you're flying any plane like the Corsair or an American plane is you want to gain some altitude. Preferably not going straight in the direction of your enemies. Just go to the side like this until you get to a height that you think is comfortable enough. And then ride back down and wait for your speed to pick up again. Then you should pick it up again. Now I know some of our viewers might already know this, and this is just review, but please just listen to me with this. Because I want to make sure that we have better gamers in the community. Because it benefits us all. You see, what I like about this thing is that... Dude, the, the wings just look amazing on this thing. Like, imagine coming down, um, being inside an Italian tank or a German tank, and then seeing this thing jumping down and diving on you. Dude, that is scary. Especially when this thing has those eight HVARs, which I'd say they're pretty good for, um, a 3.7. I mean, they only have 36 millimeters of pen. And a lot of... The later rockets have a lot better pen, but judging that these are some of the, um, this is one of the only planes at its battle rating that is able to carry rockets, so it's always an advantage. Yeah, let's, let's rise up again. Um, 30, 20 degrees. There we go. We're rising at a 20 degree angle here. Because in air realistic, these days are just all about gaining altitude. Gaining altitude means you can go down, boom and zoom, and pounce on your enemies. Instead of, um, where you see some people doing, like, these guys down here is that they just go charge straight into the battle and the American planes weren't built to turn they were built to dive down on enemies 
in a boom and zoom formation. Dang, I just like this cockpit. Let's see if I can do this. No, okay. There is, looks like, a bomber below us. I'll give that guy the kill. Come on, unicorns. If that P-47 doesn't get him, he got first tips, I'll get him. P-47 missed. Let's go down on him. Look at this Italian. Freeze! Destroyed. And now rise up again. You see, this is what makes the American plane so fun to play. Because when you get bombers out here that try to sneak past the fighters and go down low, you can just prey on them, man. Okay, let's try to rise again. We kind of dove down there a little too low. Come on, whirlwind, stay in there. Is there some BF-109 over here? Is, is he dead? No, he is still out there. Let's rise again. How many guys are left in this game? I think we got the only kill so far this game, yeah. He kind of damaged my back tail there. Oh my gosh, these maps are so big. Is there a BF-109 on my tail? He's going over there. Come on, Plaid Pilot. I'm hoping that guy doesn't turn around and try to get me. Looks like a two-on-two -two fight right now. We're gonna go help our boys out over here. Yep, that guy's down. Um, let's see here. We might be able to pounce on this LA-5. I know P-38 got him. Okay, let's go up. I guess this BF-109 over here. Just help out our team. Come on, I gotta do... Next city I gotta do has to be with the Hellcat. I should really be making videos about these historic World War II planes like the Corsair. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot against them. We still have eight rockets we haven't used yet.
I'm just seeing where he is. Let's see if he sees me. Doesn't look like it. <gasps> Got a guy on my tail. Disengage. That BF-109 has to be somewhere down here. Let's go help this guy out. Yet again. You closing in? Dang it. Missed. Looks like he's trying to get up. Let's try if we can get him. Nice bait. Okay, flaps. Oh, man, this guy knows what he's doing. Let's go get back out. Oh, now we're behind him. Looks like he's going for our friendly, though. Let's get close to him. Another BF-109 in the mix. Looks like we got a fire on him. Come on, come on. Disengage. Damage this heal tank. 